Varlamore. What is it? Where is it? And why is it? That's the questions. The three questions. These questions three that I'm at. Get out of my shot, bro. Little purple boy. What is it? It's a new continent. Where is it? Well, it's just west of Tyranwyn. And why is it? Well, I just assumed that the developers wanted a new continent so they could do more stuff. So since I, I have limited time for this little mini sode that we're going to be putting out here, um, we're just going to be going over the three, the big three, the big three changes, not changes, the, the, the new skill training methods. I can tell you that none of them are experience breaking. They're not going to break the game or anything, but they are fun. I've tested all of them out because I'm a big prepare boy. The three different updates are a... a, a Stealing keys from wealthy people and then robbing their houses. So you're double robbing them, which is twice is good <laughs> It's it's it happens twice and they I assume they deserve it for some reason. The second one we'll be checking out is Prayer offering the libation bowl with blessed bone shards. I'll explain that that'll be fun for us We'll have a good time and the last one is of course the hunting guild which essentially turns hunting into slayer and it sounds bad I actually like it a lot, but we'll get into that in a bit. I can't believe I actually prepared for this episode I'm so proud of myself as some of you know, I'm in the middle of just an extreme work uh extreme work schedule right now so please forgive the minimal editing and probably the well that's it i mean that's that's what changed and the short episode which i'm hoping i'm hoping i can get it to 10 minutes and just keep it there but i talk a lot so we'll see first thing you want to do get your rogues outfit for double loot if you don't have your rogues outfit go get it if you can't get it well that's okay i mean play the game how you want to i don't really care so what we're gonna do is we're gonna sit here in the middle of this town square <laughs> why did i say that like that in this town square um, every once in a while you'll see a street urchin. Where's a street urchin? Is it this guy? Yeah, like Leo. Leo's a street urchin. And they'll have a little text box appear above their heads and they'll say something. And that something will draw a wealthy citizen so that you can pickpocket them for a 100% success chance rate. So let's just wait for that to happen. There it is. See, he's lost. And now this wealthy citizen's coming to help. Now we can pickpocket him just so much and you'll never fail and it's so satisfying every once in a while you will get some keys let's see if we get one on the first try sometimes you will sometimes you won't but the good news is we'll get two of them look at this just experience just oh it's so good the only problem is he only does this once every like 80 to 90 seconds or something like that it's somewhere around there all right here's my here's my second chance let's get this wealthy boy the good news is even if you don't get keys at least you're getting getting lots of money Okay, well, second chance, not the charm. What are the actual chances of this? Let me check. Okay, so keys are actually obtained at a rate of, like, 1 in 17. I say like, but it's exactly 1 in 17 according to the wiki, which is which is the Bible for the game, right? So, let's, uh, we're a little over drop rate. Let's see if we can uh, get one now. All right, here we go. Let's see if we can't get a key. There we go. Two keys right there. Ah, it feels so good. Oh my gosh, two more keys. What am I going to do with myself? All right, so next thing you do once you get these keys is you go to one of three houses, either here, here, or here. And you find which one has its door closed. So that one, you can see, has its door open. Let's, why are you walking, bro? Let's run. Let's find one with the door closed. Is it number two? Nope, you got your doors open. Let's come up here then. There we go. You take your key and you unlock this door. And then you come in here and you steal from the jewelry case. Now, whenever you're in a house, make sure you know where the exit window is because you'll eventually get a message down here saying, hey, bro, someone's coming home. You got to get out of there. But you can see here we get uh, we get some more experience. And as we're getting experience, we're also getting valuables. And valuables can be used for a couple of things. You can either give them to the little urchins around town like this one here. And they will tell you uh, for 15 valuables which house is currently unoccupied. So you can you know you go do that i feel like that's a waste of time because it took me half a second to find the one the other thing is you can hand it in hand them into oriana for extra money we'll get to oriana and why she's not the character from league of legends in a second but my thieving level just got to 60 and you guys got to see that what an accomplishment another thing that will happen is that you'll see a yellow arrow up here and when that happens you have the opportunity look at that dude it's like this game is just listening to my words you get this extra xp drop and a ton of valuables all at one time and look it says you grab a bunch of valuables so that's pretty much it when it comes to this oh they're coming back gosh man it's just everything's just right on time look we got out and everything let's come over here right next to the bank is where you'll find oriana um man i this is this is just working out so well <laughs> 
Uh, okay, Oriana. Maybe it's pronounced differently. I don't know. But you can just hit trade in and uh, give him as many valuables as you want. Let's do 30. Well, let, yeah, let's do 36. And uh, there we go. We got like two grand. That's awesome. I'm gonna go add this to my little uh, to my little thing, my, my stack of keys that I currently have already. Um, Cause I, like I said, I've done this. Now I have 10 keys, that's nice for us. Um, and then we'll get to the next event. As I make my way to the next event, if you're new here, just understand that I know that I'm missing things and there's probably extra things to do, but I'm bad at the game as everybody that's been here for a while already knows. Um, and if you like people that are bad at a game and could lose their hardcore status at any time, just be sure to like and subscribe. Uh, this, is, this is just a rushed episode because I promised another episode for some stupid reason. The next new training method that we're going to look at is the new prayer training method where you put bones into a bowl and you mix them around and make the most disgusting drink known to man. A couple of things you're going to need are some wine, yes wine, because we're all drinky boys, and some bones or bone shards and a chisel. I'll just go over everything with you right now. So we're going to get some, some bone shards. There's there's a couple of ways to do it. One is you, you get into this place, the, the Karoom cam torum is what i'm saying you run up to the center here you hang a reginald get down to that little pickaxe sign right there so once you get down to this little mining area you'll see these calcified rocks in the wall um, you can mine them for blessed bone shards you, as you can see i'm doing that now and if you see the little waterfalls like tears of guthix you just do that and you get more and more experience and it's wonderful i would not suggest getting bone shards this way i mean unless you want mining experience as well which good on you you're more patient than i am but i would do it the other way and you know what i'll just show you the other way right now the next way to get blessed bone shards is by blessing the bones at the uh, exposed altar and using your chisel on them. And so I figured we'll knock out a couple of things at one time because to actually use this method, um, you need blessed jugs of wine as well, which is done at the same place. So from the entrance of Mount or Count or Cam Torum, what the heck is it called? Uh, <laughs> this is how you get to the, the altar's right here. Look, it just could be a little walk, right? Wrong. That's a cliff, baby. We got to find our way up. So my suggestion would be, if you have level 47 agility, just run across this bridge here, get to this little shortcut. The other thing you could do is walk all the way up here, come all the way up around here, come back down, bam, right there, exposed altar time, let's get it. All right, just made our way up the agility shortcut. Uh, a note, this gentleman here will actually unnote bones for you for a fee of like 10 gold per bone or something like that. So bring a stack of coins if you want to bless and get a ton of shards at one time. Uh, that's up to you that's up to you run up here go ahead and click on this exposed altar and it should turn yep blood blood <laughs> what was that jug of blessed wine and now we got blessed dragon bones so what you're gonna do is you're going to repeatedly click your chisel and you can't do it the other way because you can't click on these it just says break down oh maybe you can just click this a bunch no that's very slow all right just do this so now you've got your your jug of blessed wine and your bone shards make your way up into this place here <laughs> uh, actually it's this one it's up here in this little building here right in this little square right there let's zoom in to that little square this is where the libation bowl is so a note one jug of blessed wine will um use up 400 shards so right now i can only i should only be able to use 800 shards of these which means i should have should have 554 left over <laughs> look there's still wine in the bowl that's why my math is wrong after this uh, little clip here <laughs> should have brought three honestly didn't really think about it let's see what happens so you, i think you can just spam yeah you could just spam click these and um Okay, 454. I'm sorry my math was off. I'm kind of an idiot. You can also see that my prayer points were going down because each one that you do reduces your prayer by two points, I believe. Good news, there's an altar right here. So you can just bask in the shine of Ralos and uh, get your prayer points back. But hey, I got a prayer level. That's nice. That's nice. And there we go. We're good. There's other ways to get blessed bone shards. For instance, I got a bunch of them. The reason I had so many before I even started breaking stuff down was because of uh, the hunter rumors that I did. You get, you just, you, you can just get shards from random stuff around the continent. So I would suggest just going around and messing around on this place, man. It's a good time. I enjoy it. You should enjoy it. Let's all enjoy it. Let's get to the next thing. The last thing that we're gonna be doing is the hunting guild. We're gonna be doing rumors, man. Rumors are fun. Oops, whoa, what happened? I got right to it. Um, so essentially what I'm doing is coming straight down from the blessed altar here. I took the little uh, the little shortcut and you just run southeast. It's right here. This whole little area 
Gosh dang it if I do that one more time. <laughs> uh, you got to come in from the east. So head to the east. You could take a Quetzal. Quetzal. You know I'm saying Quetzal if you watched the last episode. It's just how I do. Um, and and we'll, we'll figure out what to do once we get in there. Okay, well, starting off, Hunter's rumors are similar to Mahogany Homes or like farming contracts and that it depends on your level, what tier you can get, right? So... I am level 16, oh nice, 69 hunter, so I can use the adept um, um, guild hunters. Okay, so service is one that I can use, and so is Ornus, but you've got your your, your novice guy here, Gelman, if, for, if you're level 46 hunter. Um, and your master, which can only be, you can only use the master one if you've beaten at first light, which I have if you want um, information on that. <laughs> uh, you can go watch my previous episode. Hey, shameless plug for myself. So anyway. <laughs> we're going to stick with Ornus for now, and I'll show you guys how it works. So you just right-click, get Rumor. Um, rare Saber to... Oh, God. All right, well, I should have... Yeah, so Kiet, is that how you say it? Sabertooth Kiet is... Um, I have to go, you know, tease these guys and get, get one of their special little items that it'll eventually drop. Um, you can get all sorts of things, like like even moths, which is super simple, um, or kebits or salamanders. I've gotten... I've done a few of these, I think five rumors in total maybe, and I don't mind them, honestly. These are my least favorite because you gotta you gotta tease the big boys and and do the thing. I'll just show you. So I'm gonna go over to there, the saber tooth people and um <laughs> people. They're animals. Uh on my way to the the people that I'm gonna go hunt, I will tell you that the hunting rumors, you can get some pretty good stuff, like the ability to cook like hunting meat, like a uh, grok, kiat. Firefoxes, all that good stuff. And it's like a heal over time effect kind of thing, which is nice. I can't remember the code to this place. Crap. Oh, the, the Quetzal whistle, which I think is just like a, a like a walking, you can teleport from anywhere or something, but. Oh, oh, the Hunter's Loot Sacks. How did I forget that? The Hunter's Loot Sacks are great because you can get random stuff like the Guild Hunter outfit and Quetzal feed and, and, oh, this is how I got blessed bone shards. I can't believe I forgot to tell you guys that. Yeah, there's lots of fun stuff you can get. Just check it out, man. Check it out. And also, you can get Renar weeds if you're lucky, and that's just what I'm always hoping for. I'm always hoping for it. So if you're going to do the saber tooth Kiats, I mean, if you don't already know, you just, you know, you bring an axe and a teasing stick, and uh, I have my drama staff because I teleported here. Hey, hey. Uh, chop down these trees, place the traps, and then tease these boys and uh, the, the tooth is the special item that I have to get from these guys. I forgot a knife. <laughs> Why? Okay, we're back. Everything's fine. I didn't forget anything. Everything's fine. I'm just going to place these little traps here. Get some more logs just for, you know, just because I need them. Okay, then we're going to tease this guy. Run up here. Oh, boy. And see if he falls in. If he doesn't, then... Oh, sweet. All right, and then obviously you got to check them, and you got to do this until you get... No! <laughs> well, for the... Dude, this video... I just need to make videos all the time. How did that happen so fast? Oh, my gosh. All right, so now I'm just going to make my way back to um, the the guild. And there's actually... There's, which is kind of nice is there's actually... Um, a fairy ring right here, AJP, and you just walk right there. So let's do that, man. All right, so we'll just walk back down here into the burrow, which is what it's called, and uh, hand in my stuff. And where are you at? Which one did I do? Ornus, I think? Yeah, let's do that. We'll get our little hunter pack. Look, 3,700 hunter XP. That's not bad. Yeah, just give me another one, I suppose. Uh, Pyrefox, those are right southeast of here. That's nice. Um, anyway... So yeah, I've done seven of them. Here's what you get. You know, you open up one of those one of those boys. Uh, Hunter Spear Tips. You get some raw Pyrefox, which again is healing over time. I didn't get anything too great here. Yeah, la last time I had Sabretooth. Man, I, I don't even want to try to... Cat? Kiat. Kiat? I don't know how to say it. And I feel like an idiot. It's, but that's okay. Last time, it, it took me like 25. And it's a 1 out of 15 drop, according to the wiki. So I was just getting annoyed because they just they just take so long. For some reason, guys, that's it. I don't even know. I, I think I have 10 minutes of stuff. If you're new here, I, again, this is not my normal stuff. I don't normally tell people how to play the game because as I, you know, I'm bad at it myself. So why would I try to help other people out? I just need to play the game. <laughs> um, just, just, just deposit everything. So... If you got this far, like and subscribe, blah, 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 blah. And I will see you in two weeks with a normal progression episode is the, is the plan. I've got, I've got some, I've got an exciting thing that I need to do. And I'm very excited to do it. Thank you all so much. This has been my TED Talk. Farewell. Farewell.